In this video, we're gonna take a look at the ultimate transitions pack for Premiere Pro. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So these 1100 transitions are for Premiere Pro and these are awesome because you have pretty much any category imaginable for any type of transitions you're looking to create. And the best part about this is that it's easy as a drag and a drop and you can apply your transitions just within a few seconds. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how this transitions pack works and that anytime you wanna learn more about the transitions pack, go ahead and check our links in the video description. it will take you right to these 1100 transitions so you can learn more. All right, so when you finish your edit, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the transitions folder where there's going to be a variety of project files based on resolution. And what you're going to want to do is open up the project file that is based on your resolution. So you just double click it and it will automatically open up as a separate project within Premiere while keeping your original project open. So essentially you're going to have two projects over here. And with the transitions project you just open up, you're going to have all these folders in here nicely organized based on which categories of transitions you're looking for. And what's cool about this is we can preview the transitions before we even apply them. So what we can do is click on the icon view button down here. We can navigate to a folder that we want to take a look at. So let's say perspective and we can come in here and find a group that we like. So perhaps we'll just do in. And now we can hover over each of these transitions and preview it before we apply it. So let's say we like this transition. All we have to do is click it and we can add it into our main project file here. And essentially what you're going to want to do is make sure that the cut of the transitions are right over the cut of your clip. And now we were able to add this transition within a second. And it also comes with a sound effect that you can keep or delete. And it's really cool just to have that sound effect. So perhaps we'll go into say the warp folder here. And we can preview a warp that we like. So perhaps grab this one, put it on top of our cut, and boom, it plays through the transition very smoothly within just a second there. Perhaps we'll do like a light leak. We could do a nice little short light leak, preview it, go ahead and apply it to the cut. And here is our light leak, and it looks really great. And of course, you have over 20 light leaks in here. So that's pretty awesome. We can continue to move over some more ideas in here as well. We have so many categories to choose from and so many subfolders that, you know, it's really hard to go through all these in one video. And perhaps here, maybe we'll apply like a flat transition. And we'll take a quick look at this preview. I like it. And we'll quickly apply it again, just like any other transition. Take a quick look at what we applied. That's a pretty cool transition. And if we don't like what we did, we can just undo our apply transition by hitting control Z. Perhaps we'll apply this abstract grunge transition and we get a pretty unique transition out of this. So this might be good for like some sort of sci-fi look here. Clearly this isn't a sci-fi video, but as you can see there's a variety of transitions here. I invite you guys to go ahead and check our links in the video description to check out all the transitions. There's no way we can go through 1100, but this is the gist of how you use the transitions pack and how you can quickly add amazing transitions to your premiere project and to enhance your commercial work, your short film, or any video work that you do. So you can quickly improve your transitions with this transitions pack. Currently, this transitions pack has 1100 transitions in it. And as someone who's been following Nitro's Means work for quite some time, he typically updates his pack. So right now, though it has 1100 transitions, I would expect there'd be a few more transitions in the future. So you'll be able to update this growing transitions pack. Also starting today until the end of Cyber Monday, Video Hive is having their Black Friday sale. So pretty much a lot of the products on Video Hive are 40% off, including this transitions pack. So if you're interested in any of the After Effects or Premiere Pro transitions or any packs, be sure to pick it up this week so you can get that discount. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the current 1100 transitions pack. It'll probably continue to update as time goes on. So it'll add more transitions to it. So, but if you did enjoy this review, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. And also you can hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creating.